Oh my gosh, this music is intense. It sounds like, um, it's like a Taoist monk. I don't know, some type of monk, um, belly chanting kind of a thing. I can't remember what it's actually called. Well, you know what? I appreciate that it makes you think of that game and not what everyone else says. Because every time any person that I meet um, finds out my name is Vlad or Vladimir, they're like, oh, like Dracula or oh, like Putin. It's like, <sighs> and then people find out I'm, I'm nocturnal and they're like, wait, so your name is Vlad, you're nocturnal, and we never see you eat. Hmm. And you're allergic to garlic. Hmm. Who is chanting? I don't like this. This is not pleasant. It's actually making me a little unnerved. We go in the room, someone's just sitting there with like a, a blow, uh, some type of like uh, flute or horn or something. Yeah, I try to do that with each game. Um, I don't know. I just, I like doing it for people who may be curious about it. There's lots of things posted on the bulletin board. Notices, schedules, stuff like that. I don't think they're important. Wow. Then you have Tom who like put up, put up there. He's like, my family, my mother is dying of cancer. And I need people to donate. And <laughs> Cheryl or Shannon, I don't think it's important. Wow. It's like, that's what usually the bulletin boards have. It's like just people trying to get money. Can I tell you a fact that's not a spoiler between the movies and games? If it's not a spoiler, yes. If it is a spoiler, I'll be very angry with you later when I find out that it was a spoiler. I'll be like, you little bastard. Spoiled it. <laughs> Such a lame transition. Oh no. I knew it was coming. It's only a matter of time. A radio? What the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. But all it's picking up is static. I wonder if it's broken. No, it means there's an enemy about to kick you in the, in the rear. Alright. Since you've seen Revelations, you should know the movie site that came from this game. Um... So I've seen Revelations, but it was like probably about a year or two after it came out. So it's been a long time. I couldn't even tell you what the plot is about. I know that they they go to the carousel at the end. And I know that they kill off Sean Bean. <laughs> but that's about all I remember. But it's not hard to remember that they killed off Sean Bean. You just have to know, like, you have a checklist. And the first thing on the checklist is, is Sean Bean in the movie? If you check yes, he dies. <laughs> She should watch her back. She's just leaning against bars. If something is on the other side, it could uh, tickle her. I did not know Kit Harrington was in it, but I probably didn't know who he was um, when I saw it. Crap, zebra dogs. Why are the zebra dogs so slow? don't like this. Am I going to have to kill the dog? I think I am.
The sound design is a lot creepier in this one than the previous two. It's like naturally putting me on edge even though I'm trying to make jokes. He was Vincent, real different looking. I watched it as a kid. For some reason, I, I read that in my brain as if it was like one of those old detective, like, it's like, he was Vincent, real different looking. I watched it as a kid, then only a few years ago, binge Game of Thrones, and then watched it tonight, realized that was Babyface Kit and Malcolm McDowell. <laughs> Sorry, all right. Yeah, I find it funny. Sometimes when I go back to watch movies that I saw when I was younger, and I'm like, wait, I know all these actors, and I didn't know that I knew them at the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It doesn't look like any there's anything useful. So you know what, Shannon? I, I know that you like Shannon Drew, so I'm not trying to throw your, your, uh, your lady friend under the bus, but she is completely uninterested in everything. Anything she sees in life is like, eh. Don't care about it. Nah, not interesting. Nah. Boring. Meh. Not important. Mm, don't care. She gets a phone call. Your brother is in the hospital. He was in a car accident. Nah. I got more important things to do. Looking at it, it makes my head hurt. But at the same time, it's like it's so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important. But I also had the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. That's clearly a clue to the story. I'm excited to I'm excited to play this. I really am. I'm enjoying it. I, I love this series so far. I really want to play all the other ones, but I have been trying to locate the fourth and fifth game. And it's going to be a challenge because some of them are like, on average, going for like $300 to $500 to buy a used version. It's like, good God, like, I cannot afford that right now. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm at this point, I'm like, I'm searching eBay for just like a, a loose disc and hope it works. I wish that they had them on PC so I could just buy them off Steam or download them somewhere, but it's like most of them are on uh, like PS2 or the original Xbox. You want to write a, write a movie of that old detective style? Wait, it never ends, Count Asia. It never ends the countless days of scouring for these missing folks. Holidays are just regular days. Nights turn into drinking. Fenders that end up with broken glass and cuts. No one understands the cruel reality of this world. God, I want to write a movie of that old detective style now. Oh, he broke the fourth wall. All right, let's let's leave here. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, where do we go? So many dogs. Zebra dog, just just ignore me. She wants to, so okay. I don't like that about this one. So the character tries to lock on to the enemies before you actually before you're even like close to them which is kind of annoying it's like Cheryl that dog was minding its own business did you have to kill it Cheryl it's dead or Shannon you I keep calling her Cheryl you know what I need to verify real quick because sure, I keep not knowing if I'm saying her name right. I just want to double check, just to be safe. Uh, her name is... It's Heather. I We're both wrong. It's not Cheryl or Shannon. Her name is Heather. Gosh. All right, Heather. <laughs> I'm so sorry for misnaming you, Heather. Oh no. Oh, that guy. Can you like, can we not? Can you, we do this another time? Where'd he go? I turn around for one second and he's gone. Well, I, like I said, it's been a long time. I don't, I, do, I barely remember it. If I had to guess though, because her last name is Mason, I would assume she's the girl from the first game that ran off, if I was to guess. But in my playthrough, which I don't know if you watched it, I got the worst possible ending, so she died.
Oh, that was so scary. I feel like he was right behind me the whole time. Oh, there's a warning sign. She's going to say, meh, not interested. Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. Flashlight. Ooh, that's useful. First aid, handgun, bullets. Okay. How is our health? I feel like it's been good. It's white. I'm assuming white means you're middle of the road. I'm guessing. Like, non-colored um, health, I guess. She'll say, you're ugly, and he's gonna run off crying. She's gonna say that to the detective? Well, that's not very nice. Oh man, this is creepy. Oops, I didn't read what it said. I'm removing a blockage of the toilet. Oh yeah, that might happen. Forget it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? She's breaking the fourth wall? What the hell? Look, in my defense, Heather, I, I didn't read it all the way. I just saw, do you want to remove the blockage? So, she's not getting any closer. I don't even want to look at it. All right, fair enough, Cheryl. Throw me under the bus when I didn't read it all. I see how it is. <laughs> Why are they breaking the fourth wall? So someone knocks back. Hmm. Let's not worry about it, Heather. Oh, no. That's far worse than, uh, than the other one. It's soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Did someone respond, or is it just me? Yeah. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, back away slowly, very slowly. Yeah. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's leave. Oh, hi. Pardon me. Do we have a map for in here? Oh, you son of a bitch. Get up, Heather. Get up. Run. Oh, we can slide under here, right? <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. Heather drops to the... Oh, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no! Run, Heather! C go underneath, turn your body! Okay, good. Oh, man. That was intense. Oh, we're back here. Oh, we've entered the Silent Hill realm. So I guess I I'm assuming we're in Silent Hill, because why else would this be happening somewhere else? Or why would this be happening somewhere else? It's leaked. It's leaked out into the world, because... Ooh, is that a bulletproof vest? <gasps> it is! Ha <laughs> ha! Now, if the monsters figure out how to use firearms, I am good. Well, I'm not good. I'm still going to be bruised and crack some ribs, but... Oh, it's... What was that? Did something just come in? Hello, there's someone there. Good, no one's here. Great, I gotta run out past them now. How's our health? Yellow. So I'm assuming it goes yellow, orange, and then red. Should Could we use a health thing? We could. Maybe we should. Supplies. Wait, you have a secret society? <laughs> yes, it's a secret It's a secret society, and I'm not even allowed in it. It's basically a um, private discord, and um, 
I don't even go into it. So it's so exclusive. I'm not, it, it's, it, you can go to the Patreon and check it out. It's the highest tier. It's one that I don't expect anyone will ever use. All right, let's get out of here. But I'll also draw a picture for you um, on that tier of whatever you want. I probably should post my art on there so people can actually see what I draw or how I draw. Uh, I will take the soul. I'll pass on the on the others. You know, it's funny. I uh, so back when I worked in the medical community, shit, I gotta be careful. Um, I had a running joke that I would regularly tell to people like if I had a coworker that needed help with something that was not or that was sort of outside of my work duties and they needed like a personal favor I would agree on one condition that they would <laughs> they would they would basically tell me that I could have their soul it's like I'll do it but you have to verbally admit that I can have your soul and um almost everyone agreed so the way I look at it is if if souls ever become a commodity or if, if if there's an afterlife and souls are worth something, I'm going to have quite a lot. <laughs> um, I think I actually had a couple of people sign something just as a joke. Um, but yeah, it was either that or I told them, okay, well, if you ever win the lottery, you have to give me half. And I think I've had at least 20, 30 people say that. So if for some reason any of them win the lottery, I can show up. They, they're not going to do it, but hey, I can pressure them. Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say I don't know why, but I don't personally uh, get it. Oh my gosh, she just wants to target the guy. I think I'm going to have to take him out. Alright, you know what? I was going to spare you. Yeah, he probably is. That does sound about right. So yeah, so I had um, most coworkers that I that I asked that they would all agree. So, all right, we're supposed to turn off this light switch, I think. There we go. I forgot it told me to. All right, let's see if we can check all these rooms now that we've. Uh... Wait, is this? Oh, we've been in here. Although, now that the lights are off, will it be different? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I think the first time I told them to, that they'd have to give me their soul, it was a joke. And then, like, everyone agreed so willingly. I was like, you know, I should do this every time now. I think I, I I think I probably have over fifty people that agreed to it in total. The the soul part. Oh my gosh, she just wants to target them. It's like I try to press X to like open because X is the button that you use to open doors, but it's also the button to shoot. So like if I try to sh click on the door, she immediately turns to shoot at the enemy. You know what, dog? I'm so sorry, but I you've left me no choice. How's our health? How's our health? Ah, let's let's drink. Go 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 go. Well, that did not heal much. I'm sorry, big guy. Oh, it's just, uh, Vladimedia. Crap. My phone is out of order, of course. You would pay just to be in a Discord by yourself? Well, that's... The, there you go. <laughs> 
Plus, the way I'm looking at that is that you're basically just paying for art. Like, if you just did it like a once a month, like not even once a month, just a one-time thing. You do it, you get your exclusive art, whatever you want me to draw. Or if you're just someone that really wants to support me, because I'm like, I'm kind of doing this full time. I'm not really making anything on it, so. This looks sketchy. So, I don't get that exactly, but I can't really eat a lot of sour things, which sucks because I love sour candy. But it, the um, I think it's malic acid. It like dissolves uh, my skin, so it makes my tongue and the roof of my mouth bleed when I eat sour things. I had an injury to my jaw where it became dislocated. Don't know how it happened, but I woke up one day. My jaw was dislocated. The guy told me the the guy, the uh, professional told me that I must have dislocated it from yawning. So they had to like manually grab my jaw, like anesthetize me, and then jam my jaw back up into place. Because what happened is, is there's a little um, floating piece of uh, like uh, material. I, I don't know if it's cartilage or bone. There's a little piece that floats between your jaw and your skull. That fell out of place. So they tried to force my jaw back into place. Apparently, it didn't go all the way back. So now I have a problem where my jaw, like, as I move it, it cracks and cr and makes crumbling noises, which really sucks. And what also sucks is the stuff they gave me to numb my face, I had a reaction to, a really bad reaction to. And I was paralyzed. <laughs> this happened, like, uh, right at the, at the start of, I think, I guess, 2020. And um, I couldn't walk from, I was, like, pretty much paralyzed from the waist down. And I was stuck in a wheelchair for um, about a year and had to relearn to walk. That was, that was not that long ago. Luckily, I, I once worked uh, managing physical therapy clinics. So I, I had enough experience with physical therapy that I was able to um, reteach myself how to walk. And I, I knew all the equipment to get and I knew what exercises to do. So I didn't need to pay for like ridiculous therapy. But it wasn't easy. I couldn't, I, I, I was pretty much completely paralyzed. I couldn't even roll over on my own. Like if I was laying in bed, I couldn't roll over at all. I couldn't really even sit up. I was just stuck. And it's horrible. All right, so I need something to snag the ladder. It's probably the hardest thing I've been through in my life, or one of the hardest things I've been through. Oh no, I'm doing much better now. I walk a little funny, but um, I'm walking. I don't, I, like I, I, I would say as soon as I, got out of the wheelchair like the very first time that I was like I got to use a walker and I was like up and actually standing I was back to walking just with a cane within a month uh, because I knew all the exercises to do and like it's like I wasn't like I was going anywhere so all I had time to do was work on myself and do the, do the proper exercises that's the thing is a lot of people who who have those problems and get paralyzed or um, have trouble walking the problem is is they don't do the exercises so they just kind of give up which is really sad but they they don't bother doing all the exercises or they do them like maybe once a day and so they're they have no progress and so they spend the rest of their lives kind of struggling to walk and move around and then their bones start to or their muscles start to atrophy and they have trouble moving pretty much for the rest of their lives but if you actually try to like continuously do exercises and really try to get yourself walking in most cases, not all of them, but in most cases, you you can get yourself uh, somewhat back to a normal walking um, ability. So you may have to use a cane, but and even with a cane, I only had to use a cane for another month after that, and then I was um, back to walking normally. She can't reach it. What do we? What do we? Do we have anything that can snag it? No, I still have my wheelchair, my cane, and my walker. Um, I figured if something ever happens in the future probably would be nice to have it um, or I'll give it to a if I ever move um, back home I'll probably give it to a relative in case they need it in the future uh, I feel like it's one of those things where I may not want to give it away because I am kind of accident prone and considering what happened I probably want to hold on to it all right so I don't think we got anything that we can use yeah the pendant's probably not long enough what is this impulse okay yeah, I kind of walk pretty funny. I don't really have a limp necessarily, but I walk a little wobbly. But the thing is, is before I um, had that accident, I um, actually had to go to physical therapy a lot because my hips don't stay in their sockets. So not only did I have that problem, but then I, you know, I walk a little funny now, unfortunately. Wait, am I locked in? 
He locked me in. Crap. Unless I'm crazy and I went through the wrong door. Yeah. Oh crap, 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 crap. No, I would. I would do. Your, I would uh, definitely make your drawing. You just gotta. You, you'd have to. Uh, I think there's, there's probably. I think there's like a messaging thing on Patreon. So I would just ask you what specifically you want to draw. I'd show you some examples of what I've done. Because I can draw. If like if you were like, hey, I want you to draw this character, but in the style of this artist, or you know, really whatever, I can usually pull it off. I'm good at. I'm better at cartoons than I am other things. So, <laughs> not safe for work. You know, I have it. I. I. I don't know why until now I never considered someone may ask me for, for not safe for work stuff. Um, I have to think about that. I don't know if I, if I want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to think of a policy for that because I um, hadn't even considered someone to ask that. I don't know why I didn't. It's kind of an obvious thing someone might ask. I don't like it. I hear something after me. I know. I, I haven't seen Teen Titans, but I am well aware of it and all of its characters. I'm in my mid twenties. People always think I'm older though for some reason. All right. There are books and magazines here, but I have no time to read them. Okay, so we need to find something that'll help us get get up on that uh, get that ladder down. And unfortunately, with things chasing me, it's kind of hard to uh, really search effectively. I hear a thing, but I don't see it. I hate to come around the corner and then it appears. It's going to appear behind me, isn't it? No. Good. I don't want to come around the corner because it's going to be right there. Let's check our health. Yeah, you're not entirely wrong. He kind of was. It's funny. I, I only saw all those movies like maybe, maybe about three years ago. I binged them all. They aren't they aren't as bad as people think. They're They're definitely not good. They're really crappy, but they're crappy in like a good way. All right. So let's reload. That would be really funny. It sounds like it's right next to me. Don't mind me. I don't like this. Why isn't it? Why doesn't it just come to me? Maybe if I shoot the gun? I don't like this. Jason is your favorite. Yeah, I've seen all of those ones as well. There's two dogs. Oh no. Don't mind me. The dogs are not as threatening as they were in the previous one. Oh my gosh, a dead end? What are they chewing on?
Okay. Cheryl, don't do it. I mean, Heather, don't do it. Don't do it, Heather. Heather has a problem. She hates zebra dogs. Heather, he's he's gone. You can stop now. All right. So, is there an item here? No, I was hoping maybe they were like chewing on an item I needed. Apparently not. Heather, it's he's gone. Okay, good. He's gone. And in case you're 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 you've never played this game before and you're wondering why I'm kicking them repeatedly. Um, you kick them until it doesn't let you anymore. Once it stops letting you kick them, that means the animal is, or the enemy is, is gone. So, I'm not actually just kicking it endlessly to be brutal. Oh, great. There's more? It's funny, because, like, realistically, if I was in this situation... Don't worry, her and I haven't found our fathers. Okay. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Um, <laughs> I see, really... Oh hanger ah you know what's funny as i was about to say we're in this store there are, there's all these hangers everywhere if i was there i'd grab the hangers and try to use them and then sure enough that's what we're supposed to do all right well that's probably all we need i doubt we need more um, we may have to stretch the hanger out but oh my gosh when i was um very young probably like I don't know, maybe I was 13, 14. I used to have this thing I would take with me everywhere, everywhere, which I called a candy salad, which I would buy different types of candy and I would put them all together and call it a candy salad. <laughs> and um, <laughs> people definitely used to give me crap for it, but I would um, I'd have take a candy salad with me. And there was one time that my, the, my family that I was living with at the time, they uh, were like, we're going to send you to this camp. I was like, okay. So I went to this camp. And I was sitting on the porch of this cabin. It was like, they, they basically grouped the kids. Like, they put like 10 kids in a cabin. And I was sitting on the porch of this cabin with my bag of candy. And um, I saw a couple people that I knew walk by. And so I saw these people walk by that I knew. And I was like, hey, want some candy? And they never let, let it down. They... They laughed their rears off. They all came to take the candy. They all were perfectly happy to take my candy. But for the following year, they always brought up. Remember that time, Vlad, that you were just sitting in a cabin offering all the other kids candy? <laughs> it was good candy. It was like um, probably jelly beans, nerds, maybe sprees. Okay, let's see if we can get up here now. Now that we're done telling story time. Yeah, straighten out the hanger. That's what I thought. I'm figuring it out. It's taken me a while, but I am figuring it out. Combine. I combine the hanger with the hanger. Oh, the watermelon rings. Yeah, I know about those. You know what I like? There's there are so many candies. Because I, I was big on candy as a kid. I was big on candy. There was a, uh, which is funny because I was like 90 pounds most of my teenage life. Anyway, uh, they, some of the candies that I really like, they always discontinue them. You know those, um, they're like Sour Patch Kids, but they do like fruit flavors now where it's like they do like watermelon or strawberry. They had mango for a while and that was the bomb. Those were so good. I can't find them anywhere. I'm pretty sure they discontinued them. They had a peach flavor they released recently and, uh, you saw them at the store yesterday? They have that Tasian stuff coating them? Yeah, here's the problem that I have with candy nowadays. Everyone's putting titanium in them, and it pisses me off. There were a lot of candies I used to really like. Like, I used to like certain flavors of Skittles. Not the normal normal brand, but I liked um, some of the offshoot flavors they did. But they, they use titanium on them now. And it sucks because it's considered safe in the U.S., but in a lot of other countries, it's banned because it's proven to cause cancer. Like, if you, basically, if you inhale the titanium and it gets in your lungs, it can supposedly create tumors. 
And um, the problem is the body doesn't know how to process it. So the titanium just either gets stuck in your body or it just gets pushed out. But it's not good for you, and the body can't process it. And the only reason they put it, yeah, I'm saying it's it's a it's titanium dioxide, and they use it for 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 coloring. Yeah, it, it's it's it wasn't it didn't used to be used in food. It used to mainly be used in like uh, you know different uh, like cosmetic products, but they've started using it in candies to color them. And in most countries, it's banned, but not in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's just frustrating because they say that the reason they do it is because it makes the cut the candies look better, but they look exactly the same as they looked before they used titanium dioxide. It's like, hmm, okay. All right, so we've made it up. Which most people don't care, and that's fine. It's really just only if you're, like, careful about what you eat that you should look out for, which I'm allergic to a lot of things, so I got to be careful anyway. You just realized some BS. What is the BS you've realized? Oh god. Oh my god, how many of these things are there? I don't really care for the Saw movies. I, I've seen them all, uh, but I don't really care for them. I don't know. If I had to pick, I know you said Jason is your favorite, um, you know, m monster villain. If I had to pick one. Oh, man. Wait, what did she say? There's a mannequin arm and body on the floor in the dressing room. I know it's just a big doll, but it's still downright nasty. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. I can't believe they put that mannequin in that stall with its arm on the ground. Ugh, nasty. Heather's a little weird. Um, anyway, so monster movies. I, I don't know who would be my favorite. I want to say... Green screen got messed up. You know, Freddy Krueger is pretty cool. Um... I love the whole dream aspect, but I got to go with, some people may not say this counts, but I think I got to go with Xenomorph from Aliens. I think I got to go with it. Yeah, I love the Alien franchise with a passion. I love the art style. I love the direction. Um, most of the movies in the series aren't good, but I still love the franchise. Yeah, Robert England is pretty good. I love when he was in the Call of the Dead, that zombies map. That was pretty funny. Really, it's a twist in the genre to me. I'm loving. I remember Blockbuster was second, third movie there. Nice, that's funny. Sounds like you had a fun mom. It's unlocked. But yeah, I think it's got to be the Xenomorph for me. Also, let's be honest. The if the alien was a little smarter, Predator would not stand a chance. Predator has been taken down by some really weak enemies. <laughs> you would never ask for a different mom if you could go back in time. That's good. I'm definitely, uh... I'm definitely proud for you. Um, I'm a little jealous, but I'm proud for you. Crap. Die, you son of a... Ha ha ha. Collapse on the ground fall in agony and stay down yeah she was kind of cute i will give you that i i actually really liked that new predator movie other than the ending i thought the way that she killed the predator was so stupid it, it was so lame like it's like she just happened to hope that he was lined up in that one perfect spot it's like the odds of that happening are so small. I feel like they could have written it much better. I feel like they could have had her take it. They could have had her take down the predator in a smart, clever way that wasn't so reliant on just freak chance. 
But other than that, other than the ending, I did like the movie. I thought it was decent. It was a little inaccurate with some of its uh, Native American stuff, but I enjoyed it. But um, as far as the Predator movies go, I think the first one is probably the best one. The second one is the worst. Well, it's hard to say now because there have been some pretty bad ones. The one they did last, not Prey, but the one that came right before it was so lame because they were trying to like open it up to do a whole bunch of sequels and they ended it on this big like Marvel-esque cliffhanger to, like to open up a whole bunch of like Predator spinoffs. And it just was so on the nose. It's so lame. There was like a mecha robot Predator. I was like, okay, they've jumped the shark. And I remember I always thought it was so stupid, but I went to see it with my boss uh, at the time. My boss was uh, like, hey, let's go see Predator together. I was like, okay. And so I went with my boss to see Predator. He loved it. He thought it was absolutely amazing. And I was like, this movie is not good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I understand. I used to have similar tastes when I was, you know, 12. I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I did. There's a subtle shot I took at you, Drew. Hope you appreciate it. All right, got a walnut. A <laughs> walnut? It's like that episode of uh, Bob's Burgers where they, they find that guy with the briefcase full of walnuts and no one knows why he had all the walnuts. This is where the walnut used to be. <laughs> why was the walnut in a protected glass case? That this is, just, this is just one of those weird video game dialogue moments. This is where the walnut used to be. Yeah, that makes sense. So if you were if you were a teenager, you prob and you watched Danny Phantom, I know exactly who you thought was the best. I liked Danny Phantom when I was a kid. I thought it was pretty pretty cool. There was a nice silver ring in here the last time I came. Bummer that it's gone, huh? Was she gonna pocket it? So she finds so many things boring and uninteresting, but she finds a. Uh, how does she know that it's a walnut, not a pecan? Because I'm pretty sure it looks exactly like a walnut. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't look like a pecan to me. Something's rattling around inside, but I can't open it with my bare hands. Ooh, thank you for having me look at it. Now I realize there's something I got to do with it. So I'm just saying, and if it doesn't let me do this, it's kind of BS, but you could jam it open with a key. Yeah, you could easily crack a walnut open with a key. Okay, so it needs to be combined with something. All right, can't combine that. Hmm. Wait, you say it pecan? Pecan? Yeah, pecan, pecan, caramel, caramel, whatever, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Yeah. Anyway, any why? You liked me until now? Look, I've lived all over the country, so I have my my accent or my my pronunciations of words is all over the place, and I use them interchange interchangeably. Like depending on how I'm referring to caramel, I may say caramel or I may say caramel. It really just depends on the circumstance. What's another one? There's a few words that I use interchangeably for the pronunciation. Pecan, pecan, <laughs> pecan, pecan. Anyway, all right. Ah, oh, it's blocked. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Is this a map? Lots of stuff posts on the wall, but nothing is of any use. I'm from Texas. Screw the whole caramel, caramel. But pecans are a Texas thing. And I'll be... I gotta read this as if I'm from Texas. I'm from Texas. I'm not gonna do a good Texas accent, so I know you're from Texas, so I apologize in advance. I'm from Texas. Screw the whole caramel, caramel. But pecans are a Texas thing. And I'll be damned if that gets trampled on. I'm pretty sure that sounded more like it was from uh, Alabama than, uh, or Georgia. No, that was more of a Georgia accent than Texas, I think. Although, Georgia has a little bit more of a twang to it, I think. The elevator, even the call button seemed to be broken. Great. All right, let's check our map. I told you, I, I apologize in advance. 
And besides, when you're doing an impression of an accent, you're 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 always stereotyping. You're always doing a little bit of a you're laying on a little thick to make the point across. Otherwise, it just sounds like you're doing a slightly different no version of your normal voice. Because let's be honest, most accents are slightly different. Um, all right. <laughs> all right. Let's see. The lock is broken. Texas definitely seems like it's gone through some interesting changes um, the past few years. It seems like it's kind of becoming, it's almost like it's becoming an offshoot of Hollywood in a sense. It's like a lot, it's like half of Hollywood is kind of moving to, um, where is it? Austin. Oh, really? Well, good. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. while you distract me from beating the game. All right. Oh, good. We can go in here. It's probably the area we've already been, right? I just need to play a game that's in Texas, and I'll do a Texas accent the whole time. That's one of those things for me, like, because I've had to move so much of my life all around the country, like, I've, I've kind of developed a non-accent accent. What are some of the states that I've, that I've been in? Um, all over the East Coast and over... So I've been in... Well, I've driven through a lot of the states, but I haven't, like, lived in all of them. But I've driven through most of them. Um, Tennessee, Georgia, Virginia, uh, Washington, D.C., Washington State, Oregon, um, Florida, North Carolina, Kentucky, And, uh, and, and Alabama, because uh, when I worked in the medical field, I, over, I managed uh, medical clinics that were that have spanned across multiple states. So I, um, I was throughout a lot of those states, even though I didn't live in, I never lived in Alabama, but I, I had to work in it a lot. Probably one of my least favorite states that I've been to. <laughs> the people there are very nice, though. I will say that. The people there are definitely nice people. Um, I always hear Georgia, and I think about The Walking Dead. You know, so I lived where they filmed um, the first couple seasons, and I was watching it in secret because I wasn't allowed to watch it. I thought it was great. I remember the so the first episode I saw, well, not the first episode, but um, no, it was. So the first time I watched The Walking Dead, it was not the beginning of the show. It was I think it was airing the second season. And I, it was the episode, I think it may have been the first episode of the second season. And after I watched this episode, I was like, I'm going back and watching the whole series because it's so cool at the time. I'm pretty sure the ship's, the show's probably jumped the shark at this point because um, I haven't watched past, um, I think I saw right up to where they had Negan in a cell. And that's when I stopped watching. Um, but anyway, the I watched the first episode of the second season and I wasn't allowed to watch this show. I knew my family would freak out. So I was watching it quietly in the kitchen, like with this small TV, like a little box TV. And I had, my phone was on the desk. It was on vibrate. And I was just sitting there intensely as they were all going underneath the, the vehicles on the highway and trying to hide as the walkers were going past. And it was so intense. And I was so like on the edge of my seat and my phone vibrated and I screamed because I, I for some reason, my brain was thinking, you got to be quiet. And after that, I was like, I have to watch this whole show. And I loved it at the time. I was a big fan. And then I heard some, I heard certain casting decisions. I won't say any, but you, you probably already know, but I, I heard about certain casting decisions and changes. And I was like, uh, I'll take a break. This doesn't sound good. I don't like that they're doing this. Coral. Oh my gosh. Me and my, uh, my best friend growing up when we would watch the walking dead together and we, we hated Carl. We thought he was so annoying in the show. Oh God. I'm not on East Coast. Oh, you you probably saw the save the save from the when I saved the game. That's because I never fixed the time on the PS3. I pulled the PS3 out of storage, so it's it's on whatever time um it was wherever I lived before. So that that's the time you're saying. No, it's actually almost 4 a.m. where I am right now. Yeah, I don't bother changing the time on an old console that I'm only going to turn on to play a game. 
like every once in a while. Man, this place is creepy. Have we been in here before? I think I have. Man, this is... I, I feel like I'm going around in circles, but it's very creepy. Now, I will just say, when I looked at the TV, it showed a child, and it looked like the girl from the first one. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that, because, you know, you've already figured it out, so we're just going to... we're not going to comment on it. Let's go in here. Oh, that's where we... Oh, no, I jumped down. Heather's going to die. What? She didn't? Heather has uh, no fall damage mods. She has those portal boots. I don't think we've gone up here yet. I don't think. Maybe we have. What is this creepy music? I hear something, but I don't see it. I don't want to know what it is. Is it just a dog? Oh, this looks like a puzzle door. It's locked. The door has a round crescent and a round dent. Oh, it looks like one of the items from Binding of Isaac. Something's written here in the same color red. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard. And the final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. Okay. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video.